The sand hills are a favorite place of mine to hunt. The wide open spaces offer a unique style of deer hunting unlike anywhere else. You can sit and glass deer for miles on end, but the challenge comes in being able to make a move on them without any tree cover. My hunting partner, Dan, joined me for a hunt that would hold rut-crazed mule deer chasing throughout the sand hills of Nebraska. With the rut in full swing and bucks chasing, I knew opportunities would be plentiful and wanted to wait for a mature deer. With so many good deer running around and several days to hunt this familiar territory, we wanted to be selective. Beyond just being hunters, we wanted to make sure we took not only the right deer for us, but the right deer for the health of the herd. The evening before opening morning, we went out to do some scouting and for a brief moment, caught a glimpse of a skylined mule deer and a nice looking whitetail with a slight limp and bladed antlers. Opening day couldn't come soon enough. As the opening morning sun rose, we glassed a buck chasing does and decided to get a better look. His character was undeniable. His frame and kickers were familiar and we realized that this buck was in the same location last year. With my crosshairs settled on him, I questioned if I wanted the hunt to be over on day one, along with the thought that maybe, just maybe, he would be here again next year. As we whispered about him, the less I wanted to harvest this deer. After much deliberation, I decided despite his awesome mass and character, he was just too young of a buck to harvest in this environment. As the day ended, I went back and forth in my head, wondering if I might live to regret not pulling the trigger. Looking for some confirmation on my decision, I spoke to my father. He hunted in Arkansas on the same day, and I wanted his opinion. I think you're smoking crack. <laughs> 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 All right, well, I hope you I'm, shoot I'm one. Down here in the, I'm down here in the creek bottom. I hope to shoot a 55-inch five-point. <laughs> <laughs> Pass on that monster. Oh, All right, all right. Good luck. All right, love you. I love bye. you too, bye. It's the beginning of day two, and uh, we're here with the Backcountry 300 Weatherby Custom. We have saw a deer Friday night that we really liked. He had kickers, big frame, and we think we've spotted him about 2,000 yards away with nine does. We're gonna sneak down and try to get to him before he beds down for the mid-morning. And I think it might work pretty well, but we're gonna see. Uh, they, they kind of elude us sometimes, so uh, fingers crossed. The next morning, we hiked to the hillside we had previously spotted the mule deer buck on. I recalled all the characteristics of the big mule deer from scouting Friday night. Knowing rutting bucks cover miles and the scouting and current locations were relatively close, my excitement grew. We covered ridge after ridge surveying the landscape. A quick glimpse of movement confirmed the group was still on the same hillside as Friday night. Being closer to the buck than we anticipated, I focused on preparing for a shot. As I settled my crosshairs, it became clear this was the same buck from Friday night and exactly the kind of big mature mule deer we were hoping to find in Nebraska.
Wow. Dude. Dan, look at this. Look at this dude. Look at his Look at how old he is. He is run down. Look at his body size. Like you could tell he was just even bigger. Just that rut. Champ, man. Going after all those does. Nice deer. What an awesome deer. What a cool. Unique. Rack, look at his cuts right here. He broke this off. I bet you he matched. I bet you he did. I bet he matched. Hunting deer in the Sandhills and learning this property year after year is a unique experience. It's a place that urges me to be patient and selective because I never know what's over the next hill. We had our first animal down, but the hunt was only half over. With my tag filled, it was time to go after Dan's whitetail. He had his heart set on the bladed, limping buck we also saw on the first day, and we set out to find him. Along the way, we ran into more than just mule deer. When viewing the sand hills from afar, they may just look like a dry desert scape covered in brown grass where nothing could live. Once you hike through them, you find a rich diversity of life hidden in plain sight. We began the second phase of the hunt in pursuit of the other target deer who we nicknamed Gimpy. Throughout the hunt, Dan stayed committed to accomplishing his goal. He turned down deer after deer after deer after deer. His determination and commitment to stick to his target deer was beyond admirable, further reinforcing our convictions to be good stewards of this place. While hiking, we spotted a whitetail that looked like he had some serious promise, and we decided to make a move on him. He wasn't gimpy, but he was a very nice, wide, eight-point, mature whitetail. Dan decided that even though it was the second to last day and light was fading, he would rather hold out. As the sun rose on the final day of our hunt, we set out to fill a tag and complete our time in the sand hills. We decided to return to the exact hill we had previously seen Gimpy on and see if we couldn't chance upon him again. Luck, it turns out, was on our side. As we closed the gap, we were able to confirm it was the same buck. Dan waited for his moment and took the shot. Shot, man. Good shot. Thank you, brother. Wow. Target buck down. How cool. We both came into this hunt with two goals. To enjoy time hunting with friends away from the distractions of work and the world, and to take two mature deer that had fewer years ahead of it than behind. Both of these deer had been observed with multiple does, encouraging us as hunters that they had passed on their impressive genetics to another generation of deer in the sandhills. With Dan's tag now filled, we knew our time here was drawing to an end. With full tags, hearts, and coolers, we set about taking our time saying goodbye to this place. But in our hearts, we knew it would not be the last adventure we shared here. <laughs>